Hello, it is Mady Max, and today we're back with another episode of Craft Block SMP, and today we're going to be building the Trophy Quadrant. Yeah, so we've had three quadrants for quite a while. For most of this, this server's existence, we really only had the Farming Quadrant, and then I finally made the Storage Quadrant and Transportation Quadrants, and two of those are still a work in progress. But today we're gonna to be doing the final quadrant, which is the trophy quadrant. And you might be asking, what's the trophy quadrant? Well, if we head over into the storage quadrant, and real quickly, I'm gonna check. Oh, we gotta put that down. I was totally not working on season two. So that's why my render distance was not different. <laughs> totally, yeah, yeah, the, the season two doesn't exist. But anyways, we've got these things here, which are just things we've, saved throughout the season. Uh, we've got like this book from Alex and stuff where he can't spell. We've got don't take my stuff please thanks. I'll take some thanks. Re the chicken. Three of the four torches from the end portal. Some ice chunks. Some. Um, we just got a lot of cool things. Pump coins, holiday crystals. And I want to have a place to store these. So we're going to be making like a little a room where we can store these. Actually, this is the treasure journal that I got in the first episode. But you want to know a funny thing? This was the uh, treasure journal from the original craft block SMP that um, didn't happen. It was a long time ago, and we tried to. There, the the old trailer is still on my channel. You can still find it. It's really bad. It was like everyone was on an island, and it was pretty bad. It was before, like, Mango even had Minecraft and everything. Actually, I don't even think I knew Mango at the time. So, that's a thing. But yeah, I accidentally put in the wrong treasure journal book. The one for this season, I guess I just deleted. But for some reason, I had the old one. So, yeah, that's why the treasure journal was ridiculously inaccurate, and no one could use it to find any of the dungeons. So I had to reimburse a lot of people that wasted their time hunting down the dungeons in that book. So that was fun. Won't make that mistake again. But yeah, so we're going to be making a place to store those things. And I think the first thing I should do is, as always, when I build something big like this, I think I should go into creative mode and plan it out. All right, I've got the design. And uh, if you couldn't tell already by the... Oh, well, I guess I didn't open the shulker box that was there. But inside the shulker box that was there, we had like a bunch of blue stained glass because... The theme for this quadrant is going to be blue, the theme color. We already did red, purple, and lime, so we're going to do blue, because blue is just a good color, and my favorite color. I was thinking about using cyan um, terracotta and light blue terracotta, but I just didn't think they fit with the kind of idea I had in my head. Like, that, that looks cool, but it looks like it's for something else. So we're just going to use the plain blue terracotta, obviously, just to incorporate that. We incorporated in every quadrant except for the storage one because I still can't think of any way to incorporate the red or black terracotta in that but we'll think of something I think I actually might have an idea now it's kind of a bit of a meme though but it, it would work it would work not really but maybe we'll do it um but yeah so we're gonna use the blue terracotta and here is the design this is obviously tileable because we're gonna have a lot of things so basically in each of these little sections here we will have our special item in an item frame and then signs up top that say what they are and then the door will be like somewhere here like wow look look at this quality door that's that's where the door would be not like yeah so we'd come in through that area there it would be something like that and then we just go down this long hallway with with this design. I had to keep it a bit simple because obviously we're tiling this a lot. So yeah. But yeah, that that's the design. So now we need to go build it. And I don't think I have blue terracotta, so I've got to do more smelting. Alright, I am back on craft block and I am currently building this tunnel here. And it's very fun because well for starters blocks don't break sometimes. But also because I'm drowning Oh, there we go. I was like, why am I not drowning? And now I am drowning. So that's always good. Did I even finish this one? Okay, I did. So yeah, I basically just need to make this tunnel until we hit this area there. And that's where we'll start the actual building. It'll just be easier to build this not underwater. Building the transportation quadrant underwater was kind of a pain. And it's going to be even worse in 1.13. 
because water is, you can't trick water into doing what you want in 1.13. It has, it has a mind of its own. Uh, good news is we're done. Bad news is I'm trapped. Um, hold on. I'm going to be MLG here. Oh, whoa. So, pro, did I kill a torch? Oh, I killed one torch. Where'd the torch go? There it is. Yes. You know what? I'm proud of myself. I, I did that while only killing one torch. But anyways, I came through here to get my sponges, which are possibly in here. Yes, sponge. Now I've got to go back through here. Um, I'm going to kill the torch again. Eh. No, let me... There we go. Yes. And then, boom. Boom. Okay, now I just need to put in all the sponges without drowning. Very fun. Where are you coming from? <laughs> There's water appearing out of nowhere. I can't reach. Oh, there we go. I just placed two sponges. Uh, it's hard to tell the difference between wet sponge and dry sponge in this new texture pack. The official. Alright, there we go. We did that in like six sponges, I think. I had 47, right? Do 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 Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cook these up, and then we can begin making the quadrant. Oh gosh, it appears we've got some friends here. Um, hello. Please, now, is this looted? Has there been a thing here under my house this whole time that wasn't looted? Uh, you. I need you. Come here. Eh, there, there we go. There's not gonna be any more skeletons killing me today. Is there a zombie spawner too somewhere? Because there are, there are just as many zombies as skeletons. I blocked this off. Um, it doesn't look like it because that's, that's surface there. That's surface sand. Uh, let me get rid of this junk. Bye, 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 bye. Yes. Alright, well, I guess this will make digging slightly easier. We need to dig out four blocks on each side, and I don't even want to know how long this way. So that's that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, there, there's really no other way to say it. Besides, that is what I am going to do. Alright, I have dug out an area, and let me check how many do we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, so we've got 16 spaces. That'll probably be enough to start. I might add more things to this later, but I really just want to put the important things here. Um, but yeah, so we've got 16 slots, and we're probably going to go like left, right, left, right, left, right. And also, over here, I actually ran into the redstone for the zombie farm, but I think we like barely missed it. And this is obviously going to be like uh, you. This is going to be wall right here. So we're actually not going to interfere with the zombie farm, but we came really close. Also, I still don't know how I didn't find this skeleton spawner when the zombie spawner is right next to it. Weird. Alright, the tunnel is now done. Actually, that's a lie. Boom. And now it's done. I just decided to do that like where the floor goes up. I, I don't know. But, yeah, so this is what it's going to look like, as, except we're going to have to um, put some sea lanterns in the roof still. And then after I do that, we'll be able to actually put the items in. And also, I got jump scared by a spider. I was like, oh, look, it's a spider. But I'm pretty sure it's daytime, so he won't attack me. So I turned around. The spider was, like, over there, and I was like, here. And then I was like, all right, time to move on to the next one. And then I turned around and the spider hit me. And I, I like, got, I got jump scare. Like, that, that was scary for some reason. I don't know why. I was just like, oh, that spider's not going to get me. And then he got me. So, yeah, that, that's, that's my life story right there. All right, this is now done. Now we can go to the storage quadrant and choose 18 items and get 18 item frames. So let's go ahead and head over. Do 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 do. I like the blue. That looks nice with the water, with the texture pack water. 
do 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 this is my awesome sound effects um i'm gonna probably have to deposit this real quickly uh ah no why are you hold on we'll just put this here that's that's where i've been putting my extra stone hello please please do the thing okay fine i will put each individual are you gonna work like hello Thank you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so anyways, let's just put all this away. Boom, boom. Oh, no, we want my fireworks. Uh, that can go bye-bye. And you can go here. Boom. Why do I have a torch? I don't know. Um, let's go get 18 items. Alright, so we definitely want... Here, let's move all this stuff down. Because we want to not interfere as much as possible. There we go. Boom. I can't click today. Here we go. We'll just use this. Boom. Click. 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 Alright, so one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we definitely want those. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, um, 18, I don't even know what that's from, this is 18, right, 1, 2, 9, so 17, 18, oh, that's 19, er, we need to get rid of one thing, um, I don't know what to get rid of, <laughs> Uh, what, 9, 18, yeah. What should I get rid of? The Reaper Cloak is from the Alien Event. I don't think we have anything else here from the Alien Event. Um, I guess we'll have the Spring Snack. No, we'll have the Rose there and get rid of the Spring Snack. Yeah, there we go. Because we already have the Rose from the Spring Event, so... Now I need to order these, um... Oh gosh, the pig cow came last. This this order is definitely good, right? Um, re, um, Ender Shard comes before Torch from End Portal. You go here. So that's this order. War Axe of the Night. I think that's just my old axe, but I got rid of it when I got this. So that means you go with the rose. Um, that probably goes around there. Angry Bee also goes around there. We'll put that there. Reaper Cloak goes with Halloween, so we'll go boom, boom. Ice Chunk, well no, the Ice Chunk came after the Holiday Crystals, I think. Then Rose, then War Axe, then Pig Cow. That's probably right enough, maybe. I don't know, now I need to get item frames. Where will item frames be? Um, I don't have an item frames chest. I don't know where I would put them. Wait, I've got a firework star chest? Wow. Wait, what's up here? Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, that's just another treasure journal. Um, where would I put item frames? Mob drops? I think I've got item frames somewhere. I, uh done it's somewhere over here I think like on this end um uh, <laughs> I hated that prank oh wait oh there we go item frames all right there we go let's go ahead and head back do 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 do, 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 do. Oh, I forgot to put in the cobblestone walls. I just realized that. And we also need signs. 
I'll go back and get those in a minute. All right, do 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 do. So we're gonna go left to right. I'll just put in the item frames first, just to make things easier. Oh well, that's a failure. Boo boo boo. Womp womp. My sound effects are so amazing. I know. There we go. Boom boom. Okay, we're done. Uh, let's go. One two three four five six seven eight nine. Do 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 do. All right, so we're going left to right. Treasure journal. Um, that's Alex's book. I'll take some thanks, Mitch. Oof. Don't take my stuff, please. Thanks, Alex. Re. Ender shard. Torch from end portal. We're not gonna name that. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, boom, 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 boom. Why did I miscount? All right, well, I guess we don't need to put in more acts of the night in pig cow boots. That's fine, because pig cow boots, they're pretty recent, so it's not really a memory. I guess we could put that in if we expand it. And the war axe of the night is just an old tool that I used for not even that long, I don't think. So, yeah, that's, that's fine. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the signs and everything, and then we can wrap up this project. Alright, now the, uh, I forgot the name of the trophy quadrant. Trophy quadrant is now done. I, I just forgot the name of it. I was like, transportation quadrant, sure, we'll go with that. So yeah, I've got the cobblestone walls, and then I've got all the signs. You can look at these when I've got the world download and such. The season's not over yet, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like acting like it's over, but no, no, we still got, we still got time. We still got time for this, but yeah, when there is a world download, you can go ahead and look at all those. I already went over them, so I'm not going to go over the signs again, but yeah, I need to organize this glass. Obviously, I won't do that on camera because, yeah, but anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And anyways, I'll see you all next time. Do-do-do-do-do-do.